Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the most effective and efficient high ground retakes in Fortnite. These are the only high ground retakes that you're going to need. And if you actually perfect them, you're almost always going to have high ground over your opponent. The techniques that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video today can easily be used by beginners as well as pros as they're not at all difficult to master and they're super effective in what they're meant for. I'm going to show you guys how these methods can be used in game along with detailed breakdowns of how to perform them and how they actually work. Now the only reason I decided to make this video is because I figured from my personal experience that these techniques, even though they may seem simple, always work when I'm in a 1v1 build fight with someone and believe it or not guys, I've also had a lot of pro players compliment me for how I'm always able to retain high ground while I'm in a 1v1 with them. Now some of you guys watching this video might already be familiar with some of the steps that are shown in this video but for those of you guys that are new to this and if you guys find this difficult I definitely recommend you guys to be consistent at practicing them because even though these techniques may seem difficult for you initially over time as you practice them they're gonna get easier. Now I also want you guys to keep in mind that these methods are not just for creative you can literally use them in scrims in public matches or anywhere you guys want as long as building is involved. Now I'm gonna give you guys an in-game example of each of these methods and I'm also gonna show you guys how they work. So without any further ado let's just get straight into the video. All right guys now the first method this doesn't really have a name to it so I'm just gonna call it triple 90s with ramps and cones. So the way you do it is when you start off in a creative game or even when you're mid game just trying to build above your opponent what you do is when you start off you place triple 90s just like this and you place two ramps and two cones to your side while placing a wall to cover yourself now what this basically does is if your opponent is using double 90s while you're using triple 90s usually what would happen is he would be able to get a free shot on you while you're trying to build up and while you're on your way to the third 90 but since you've covered yourself with a ramp and a wall he's not going to be able to shoot you anymore and by the time they finish their second 90 you're already going to be ahead of them now let me show you guys what this looks like from a free drone perspective so yeah right after you begin as you guys can see as soon as they finish their second 90 they're blocked by the wrap and cone and by the time they realize what's really happened you're already above them and you have high ground and you can easily dominate the game so if you're new to this make sure you practice this a lot you have to perfect your 90s because without it you're not going to be able to do it so make sure you perfect your 90s and after you after you're able to perfect your 90s just keep doing this over and over again and you should be good to go with that being said let's get to the next technique in this video i'm guessing some of you guys probably already know this it's called side jumping so the way you do it is you do two 90s and you jump over to the side from your cone and you keep building up now even though this technique may seem simple it's actually a little bit more complicated than the first technique that I showed you guys in this video. Now the reason why this is is because you need precision while jumping over to the side. Let's see how this works while you're trying to 1v1 your opponent. So as you guys can see as soon as you side jump you also want to do a full 360 while building up in order to sustain your high ground and be ahead of your opponent. Now I do understand that this is going to take a little bit of practice before you can actually perfect it because it needs a lot of precision while you're trying to side jump. Now let me just show you guys the technique that you need to use uh, while you're trying to do this jump. So first of all if you're playing on a really low sensitivity for keyboard and mouse players you need to make sure that you have plenty of space available on your computer table in order to move your wrist freely. So once you're in this spot after you've completed your 290s you need to make sure that you're running from right below the edge of the cone and you're also gonna have to jump right at the edge just when you think you're about to drop down. You can do this from either side uh, whichever you feel you're comfortable on and I totally understand that this is going to be a little bit difficult for a lot of beginners but trust me guys once you're able to do it right once you get the technique right you're going to feel like it's a cakewalk now let me just show you guys a couple more techniques that you can use to retain high ground they're very simple and basic yet extremely effective at the same time so let's say you're in a situation where you've boxed up your opponent has high ground and you want to get high ground over him so what do you do you're going to edit the wall right in front of you place a ramp turn around place two walls and a cone just like this and keep doing it over and over again and you can mix this up with 90s or you can turn around and edit the wall and the cone and yeah just keep doing this guys it's eventually going to end up confusing your opponent and you're going to be in charge of the high ground 
All right, guys. So another thing that you guys can do when you're boxed up is this. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, you're just going to crank up. So edit the wall. And just go up like this. I'm going to show it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to break it down. Don't worry. So this is pretty much how it's done. And it's a really good um, trick that you can use in order to cover yourself and get high ground at the same time. So let me just show you guys how to do it. All right, so when you're boxed up like this, what you wanna do is you're gonna edit the wall right in front of you, place a ramp above your head, place a cone on top of that while placing another ramp and a roof and a ramp again. And you're gonna edit the roof like this. So you can edit one block or two blocks of the roof. If you edit three blocks, you're gonna fall off. So you're gonna keep doing this over and over again. So this one isn't really that difficult, so to say, but it really isn't that easy either. So the key is practice, guys. If you keep practicing, you're going to get it right. And this is one of the more fun things uh, that you can do with high ground retakes. And I really love it. And I definitely recommend each and every one of you guys watching this video to try it out for yourself if you don't already know how to do this. With that being said, guys, that was pretty much the video. Hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please do not forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.